here we have some multiplication problems where we're multiplying two digit numbers by two digit numbers. So it starts getting a little more complicated. There are more steps to do here. And I'm going to show you one method that I learned when I was in school and then another way to think about it that might be faster to do or might allow you to do some of these in your head. Uh, in this first uh, problem, we've got 22 times 24. And what we're going to do is do what we did before, starting with the ones column. That is, multiply the ones column by the ones column on top, put the answer down here, carry if necessary, although in this problem it won't, won't be necessary, and then do the same thing to the tens column, put the answer down here. And then after that, we're going to make a whole nother row in the answer. It's like we're doing two problems and then adding them together. Let me show you how this works. Let's start with our ones column here. So it's going to be four times two first. So four times two, that's eight. So that eight goes right down here. And then four times two again in the tens column also equals eight. So that goes right there. Now we're going to go down a row here and put a zero. Why are we doing that? Well, we just did four times 22. Now we're going to do this too, which is really 20. I mean, this is 24 down here. So we did the four, now we're doing the 20. So it's really like 20 times 22. We're going to put the zero down here ahead of time and then just think of this as two times 22. So we do two times two, that's four. And then another two times two, also four. And then the last step is we have to add these together. 8 plus 0, 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. So 2 goes down here, 1 gets carried, and then 4 and 1 is 5. So our answer is 528. So that is the traditional method that I learned when I was in school. Another way to think about this is to separate it into two problems. Think about um, 24 times 20 and 24 times 2. So that might be a little easier. To do 24 times 20, I can pretty much do that in my head because there's no carrying involved. I'm just going to not think of that 0 for a minute. 2 times 24, 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 times 2 is 4, it's 48. I actually knew that because two days is 48 hours. So this is, and then I add my extra zero on here. So I get to 480 pretty quickly there. And then I just have to add two times 24. And I just figured out that that was 48. So really all I have to do is add 48 and 480. And look at that. We get, we're gonna get the exact same thing, 528. So if that method works better for you, I would say go ahead and use it. Let's practice one more. So we've got 34 times 12 here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this the traditional way. So first, 2 times 4, that's 8. And then 2 times 3, that's 6. So put the 6 there. Then we go down a row and put a 0 in there. And then we've got 1 times this. Well, 1 times 4 is just 4, and 1 times 3 is 3. That's um, pretty easy, and we add it all up together. 8 and 0 is 8. 6 and 4 is 10. Carry the 1, you get 408. Not too bad. Another way to think about this, though, I'm going to call this 10 times 34 plus 2 times 34. So what I did there was I took this 12 and broke it up because I, I, 10 is pretty close there. So um, it keeps this number low, which makes it easier. 10 times 34, super easy. I just add the extra zero under the 34 to get 340. 2 times 34, I can do that in my head too. That's 68. And then we just get 34, or sorry, 340 plus 68. So that's 8, 10, boom, 408. So try whichever way works best for you. Maybe use both to check your answer, but that's how to work on these two-digit by two-digit multiplication problems.